Hi, my name is Eric Cutlip, and in this video, I want to show you how to use the Flex2 3D USB camera with the Raspberry Pi. For this video, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi Model 4B. The Raspberry Pi will run the Raspberry Pi OS with desktop. Connected to the Raspberry Pi will be the Flex2 3D USB camera, an HDMI display, keyboard and mouse, and power supply. With just this setup, we'll be able to use the complete Royale SDK, which includes C++ libraries, a Python wrapper, visualization software, and much more. So here we have the Raspberry Pi 4B. I've got the SD card with the OS installed and plugged in. We'll plug in a keyboard and mouse to the USB 2 ports. The Flex2 camera will be plugged into a USB 3 port using a USB 3 cable. Be careful not to connect this camera to a USB 2 port or with a USB 2 cable as this is not supported. On the side, I just need to plug in an HDMI cable for the display and the USB-C cable for the power supply. And with this, the Raspberry Pi will automatically boot to the desktop. For the software setup, we'll need to download the Royale SDK. I'm using the ARM 64-bit version since the Raspberry Pi OS I've installed is the 64-bit version. You may also use the 32-bit version of the Royale SDK if using the 32-bit version of the Raspberry Pi OS. For third-party libraries, we'll need LibUSB as a minimum to communicate with the camera. To use Royale Viewer, we'll need to install Qt5 and OpenGL. Then for the Python wrapper that we'll demo later, we'll need TK, Matplotlib, and NumPy. So here I have the Raspberry Pi OS with desktop booted. I've already downloaded the Royale SDK and extracted the ARM 64-bit version which I have open right now. I've also downloaded the third-party libraries I mentioned earlier. The last step is to install the UDEV file. This file is located in the driver UDEV directory within the Royale SDK. This file needs to be copied to the Etsy UDEV rules.d directory. Once that's done, I'll need to reboot the Raspberry Pi. After rebooting, we're now ready to capture some 3D data using the Flex 2. Let's use Royale Viewer to visualize some live data. This application can be found in the bin directory of the Royale SDK. To start the camera, I can just press the start button at the bottom right of the window. Now we see a colored depth map where the points are colored based on the distance of the object from the camera. I'm sitting here directly in front of the Flex2 camera. If I click a point on myself, I can see that I'm about 0.6 meters away. If I click on the wall behind me, I can see that it's about 3.88 meters away. I can switch to 3D view to view the point cloud stream. Here, you can use your mouse to explore the point cloud. In the use cases menu, we can see the available modes for the Flex 2. I'm currently running mode 9, 5 FPS, which means it's a long range mode at 5 frames per second. These long range modes can detect up to 7.5 meters away. Let's now switch to a long range 30 frames per second mode. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi is perfectly capable of providing very accurate distance data at a smooth 30 frames per second. We have a separate video describing the features of Royale Viewer, so be sure to check that out. The Royale SDK includes a Python wrapper called RoyPy. RoyPy can be found in the Royale SDK within the Python subdirectory. In this directory, you will also find some sample Python scripts which use RoyPy. Please note that the version of Python supported by RoyPy is currently 3.7. Since this version of Raspberry Pi OS provides Python 3.8, I needed to recompile RoyPy using the instructions provided in this readme file. Okay, so as a demo, let's run the script called sampleretrievedata.py. I will configure the camera to run mode 9 30 FPS again. And as you can see, we see the same kind of colored death map stream we saw earlier. 
RoyPy is controlling the camera and providing the depth data stream, while the matplotlib Python library is drawing it. Here, we can hover over the point to see the distance to objects. So, just like on a Linux or Windows PC, the Flex 2 3D USB camera and the Royale SDK are well supported on the Raspberry Pi as well. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.